Hello and welcome to Chocobo Racing. Um, we're actually going to be doing the Battle Square today, and it's going to take a long time. But first, I thought I'd show this just once. Uh huh. Tifa's not writing. Um, fun fact! Certain characters, if they're in your party, will sometimes ask to ride the Chocobo. Um, I know Sid and Tifa do it for sure. I don't know if anyone else does. Um, probably not Barrett, Red, or Red. I can't really see Vincent doing it either. It would be in character for Yuffie, but... Eh, anyway. I just want... This is an S rank. So, they're really damn fast. Uh, yeah. But, we have all of the speed. But not all of the stamina. Baco here is actually not really all that fast. Or, no, Baco is that fast. What Baco isn't is all that, um... Baco doesn't have that much endurance. Well, we got a Mega Elixir. So, you know, that's awesome. Wow, that was fast. But I just wanted to show the long race off once. And now we have. Uh, on that note, let's head to what we're actually here for. Bathroom! Uh, whoops. And, uh, th this is gonna take a while. Um, yeah. You'll see. Actually, I can probably just show this thing here. No, I don't need an explanation. I know that you're not going to show me the prizes, okay? Um, well, that's annoying. Hmm. Okay, well, we have enough for 69 battles. That That's a coincidence. <laughs> but a great coincidence. So, you know, let's get start. Actually, wait. I am totally interested, but I want to show Cloud's material layout first. We're going to be battling with Cloud. Uh, also worth mentioning, I grinded everyone's limit up to level 3, except for possibly Barrett. I'm not sure if I've done him yet. So, everyone has their last limit break. In the case of... In, in Cloud's case in particular, I did this for a really... I did this for the battle arena. Uh, but in the case of Red and Tifa, um... Well... Double achievement get! Yeah, I guess I haven't done Barret. Hmm. Well, I suppose I'll be doing that after this. Did I just sort my name? Screw that. Uh, but no. I have Cloud's one. You'll notice he has a full limit break. When we go into the battle arena, we go in how we look. When we come out, we get reset to how we are now. So grinding in the battle arena doesn't actually work. Ex unless you're stealing items, because you can totally do that. But anyway. But anyway. <laughs> I have m mime and some other things. Behold, mime. So the strategy in the battle arena is pretty simple. S Use a powerful attack, then spam mime. We have we have several contingencies in this regard. We have our ultimate attack, our limit break, but in case we have to break the combo like the heal or something. We also have Knights of the Round, with HP Absorb. We also have Bahamut Zero, with Quatra Magic. And we have Hades, with Add Effect on our armor. Even though we... Ah, for fuck's sake. You know what? That's what you get, because Steam won't let me disable that. <laughs> Oi. Uh, we also have a Ribbon. Ribbon Hades is redundant. The reason for this is because in the battle arena, after each round, there's different uh, conditions that will be inflicted on us. Some of them break our materia, one of them breaks our accessory, just various bad things that, that are intended to make it harder. 
Um, a few of them are status effects, which are just straight up nullified by the ribbon and by Hades here. We have a lot of redundancy like this. Because the best way to do the battle arena is to ha build up as much redundancy as possible in this manner. Um, the only... The only catch is, we actually want to get some of those bad effects, because the uh, the amount of battle points we get at the end is determined by the effects we get. Fortunately, it doesn't actually matter until the last two rounds, because each, um, each condition has a set amount of points it is worth. For instance, uh, being turned into a toad in the first round is worth, like, 5 or 10 points. Hardly anything. But, for each round, it's worth more points. It's not a multiplier, it's just a straight value. Which means, we- means, on most rounds, we just want to take the ones that we can ignore until we get to the last two rounds, when they're actually worth a lot of points. Then we want to get stuff that actually could hurt us a bit for the massive point game. Uh, I also have double cut. And, oh, right. I need to put Cloud on the back row. There we go. And if we lose at some point, it doesn't really matter too much. We just get kicked out. We don't get any points. Um, hopefully that won't happen. But, you know, I have enough points to lose a few times. For everything we want, we need... Assuming ideal conditions, we need to win at least... Probably at least 10 times. So, you know, this is going to take a little while. Um. Yep. I mean, it's not that handicap makes the monster stronger. It's more that it makes you weaker. It is, in fact, you know, a handicap. So anyway, here's what... Here is the game plan. By the way, I'm using the ultimate weapon. Finishing touch! Because I don't, I don't gain AP in here, so I may as well use my strongest weep on. Uh, yeah, so finishing touch is an instant kill move. It is great. Uh, I do not want material break. Uh, mini would be fine. Awesome. Ignored. Now face the wrath. Oh my! And this is pretty much the game plan right here. Spam finishing touch. Unless I take massive HP damage, in which case I will probably switch to something else. Uh, let's see. MP half would be good. No, that that is not so good. Um, it doesn't hurt me too much. I would rather get 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 it later, but it does prevent me from using my cure. So now my only method of well, I can heal with items, and I can still heal with summons. But hopefully, I just kill every one shot everything, and it doesn't matter. That's really the ideal. Uh, you know, I'm fine. With yes, perfect. Now a double MP. Half. That would kind of suck. But a single one? Eh, I have enough to do two summons. That is all I need. Great! Oh, my controller just died. Well, that is great. Uh, one sec. OMG, that actually worked. Controller, back! Okay, so... Obviously, I really don't want to break mine. But, at the same time, I don't really care if I break my magic again. Okay, now that is a problematically low. Do I even have enough MP to summon this for the round now? Uh... I do not! So hopefully it doesn't come to that. And as the lady said, there's eight rounds, so 
I need. I want to be careful with my materia pick for round seven and eight. Uh, what? What do you mean it missed? Are you are you like immune to us? I mean, the thing is, if finishing touch cannot instant kill things, it's supposed to still deal deal damage. It's not though. Okay, I guess, I guess we'll fall. Oh, I just can't. I just plain can't hit you. What? And I've broken my finishing touch combo now. I mean, I don't want to use Hades on you. Hmm. Or no, I can't use knife of the round. I don't want to use Bahamut Zero on you. But I may have to. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. Whatever. It's not the end of the world. Hair off lair! This is... This is gonna... Yeah. Hopefully the first one will finish you off, because... Well... I have... I, I have... Doomed myself to watching a whole lot of tarot flares. Oi. Yeah. What round am I even on? Round five, I think? Hopefully I'm on round five. Uh... Hmm. Hopefully I'm on round five. Although, maybe I'm on round six. Well, one can only hope. Okay, so that did not. Oh, what? But it's still there. Okay, I am on round six. Uh, I really don't want all material break. That would suck. I'm okay with that one. Now, Terra Flare again. Although, truth be told, I might be okay with an all material break on the last round. I mean, I'd rather not get it, but I think I would get through that battle fine. Probably. My, I'm not using MP. It's just so broken. It's great. I really do wish the good summons were a little quicker, though. Actually, no. What I really wish I had was a freaking skip button. Oh, Neptunia, how you would spoil me. Okay. This is where the points start to matter. Uh, MP, you know, I'm okay with any of- oh, HP half? Eh... HP half could be a problem. Uh, hmm. In any case, this is the penultimate round, so I need to get something good on my last reel. Hopefully, it's incoming. Man, those shield guys are bullshit. You see, things like that are exactly why it's important to have uh, backup plans. That was also, sometimes you can't help it but land on a crappy real result. Sometimes it just happens. I really feel like this should be a blow up the earth animation. Although realistically, <laughs> well, I mean realism has nothing to do with it. Uh, thematically, may maybe that wouldn't be the best. Let's see now. 
basically, I want a material break for my last round. I know the thing that's worth the most is all material broken. I don't really want that one, though. Um, I know the magic material break is actually worth a lot in the last round. Um... I don't actually need my summons anymore, so summon material break would be pretty good as well. Um, I think any material break except for command would suffice though. Um, independent, either independent or command is not worth as much, but eh, I have enough rounds that it doesn't really matter. In any case, we'll see, I suppose. Keep going! Uh, there is an all-material break, there is an item seal. Item seal is not worth that much, so... I really want the magic break! Uh, no. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Eat some bomb move. Now, this will probably take three hits, I want to say. I'm pretty sure all of the eight round encounters, because there's a set list of encounters for each, um, for each uh, stage in this, which changes depending on what point you are in the game, but there's still only like two to four possible encounters at each point. And in any case, wait no, maybe it's four to eight. In any case, all of the ones in this, in the last lot, I'm pretty sure have over ten thousand HP. I guess we'll see though. I mean. Even if it does have over 10,000, and I'm pretty sure it does, it's probably under 20,000. But you know, we'll see in a minute. Right... well... Literally a minute, I guess. Ah, uh, Terra Vomit, you're awesome, but your animation is so long. Then again, nice of the nice of the round would have been just as bad. It would have been worse actually. Nice of the round is probably 90 seconds long, and we would have had to watch that thing the whole thing through every time. At least with Bahamas Zero, if we kill it partway through, we just stop there. Was that two or three? I have, I'm not. I'm evidently not paying very good attention. Boy. Well, let's see if this kills it. It won't really answer the HP question, but, you know, whatever. Even though this actually does more damage than spamming my limit break, I prefer this I prefer my limit break because limit breaks have priority, so it's less likely for you to deal damage. That said, it's also much harder for you to lose your limit break. So there might be something to be said for opening up with the summons, and then switching to limit break when you have to cut out of them. Plus also, then you don't need to worry about MP train as much. In any case. Okay, well it's still alive, so I guess I guess this is number four. You know, I was prob I may have been being too generous when I said a minute. It's- we're coming up to two minutes now. Oh, I- I really don't blame them for making Nice the Round not compatible with the Quattro Magic. Just sit there for ten minutes as Nice the Round spams. I mean, in fairness, if you could Quattro Magic Nice the Round, you could one-shot the boss of the game with it. I am almost certain. The only thing that wouldn't one-shot would be, uh, Emerald and Ruby Weapon. 
And it would still do most a pretty good it would still put a pretty massive dent in either of them. Wow, okay. So it has lots of HP. Uh I'm sorry. But you don't grind in the battle arena taking chances. And how much more HP can it possibly have? Uh, I'm sorry for saying that as well. <sighs> this, and this is round one. With the item break, I don't think that's even worth very much, so... So, yeah. We still probably have ten rounds to go after this. Remember, ten rounds was the ideal. Uh, we might have enough to buy one of the cheaper uh, things that I wanted, though. I guess we'll have to check. Seriously, how much HP do you have? We're coming up to 30,000 now. Well, at least it, high HP means not very deadly. Um... I do know... that... the most dangerous things... I do know that the most dangerous things in the arena actually don't have that much HP, so... There you go, I suppose. Death from above! Okay, they had around 30,000 HP. That is so much. Oh! Okay, that was worth more than I w thought. Uh, still probably 10 or 11, though. Constellation Prize, Tissue! Behold! The wait, where is it? The tissue! It's totally... It's hilarious, but also totally useless. Uh, right, so... I want to go to the prize machine now. Yes. Uh, okay, so... I want this, and this... And this... And both of these. If I have enough extra for the champion belt, maybe, but... Wait, I'm trying to remember if I wanted the champion belt. Um, this is a battle item. This, I believe, increases your strength and vitality by a whole lot. Um, realistically, I kind of want it, but at the same time, I'm realistically not going to actually use it. Okay, so... Hmm... I think the way I'm gonna do this is... I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. Or not. Give me enemy lore! And also preemptive. And also... <laughs> Speed Plus. And I think that's all of the cheap ones that I wanted. Uh, this is a battle item. This is Chocobo stuff. That's a Renemy. Uh, Renemy? Remedy, of course. Uh, yeah, so I just need these two now. And, well, that's gonna take a while. Having said that, well, I'm not going to be talking for a while. I'm not sure, as was the case with the Chocobo stuff, I'm not sure whether I'm going to cut here or I'm going to just speed it all up. But I'm probably going to be here for the next hour doing this. So, you know, you know, uh, talk to you when I'm done.
Okay. I have enough for Omni Slash now. Still not even close to dummy summon. And I am well over an hour at this point. I think I'm probably going to stop off here. I mean, not the battle arena, but the video. Because, just man, this is taking so long. Incidentally, I can say with a fair amount of confidence that I will probably have um, spent as much time in here as the combined time I have spent limit grinding throughout the whole game. Or, at least surprisingly close to it. Just for a little reference there, it doesn't take long at all to grind limit breaks if you do it right. It can, this though, it can be a real pain in the ass. Having said that, I'll come back next time with, when, once I have W summon, then there will be one more thing that I want to do after that, and then we can finally do the fi then we can finally start the final dungeon, the Northern Crater. So you know that'll be interesting, but, but, well, well, we'll get to it when we, we get to it, I suppose. Boy. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy 7 with Blue. Have a great day. Bye!